be, wouldn't it? Viva Ice, the strawberry flavored shaped ice treat comes with a spoon containing lottery numbers. If you those numbers win, you will receive more shaved ice. It's pretty okay. Safety half shoes. These shoes only cover your toes, but the iron plate in the tip keeps your toes safe. <laughs> okay, so they're like steel toe boots, but uh, half shoes. Like a... what do you call it in English? I knew the name. Fuck, I forgot the name for shoes like that. Oh, I, I can only remember the Portuguese name, so... Uh, mini wave dissipators. This island souvenir is a wave dissipation block that fits in the palm of your hand. If you leave it on the coast, seawater gathers around it. Not sure what that means. I have no idea what that is, to be honest. Two sided ukulele. This tropical instrument is trimmed on both sides. The sound changes depending on which side you play. The outer side produces a light, a happy sound, while the inner side produces a dark, a heavy sound. Interesting tissue! A modern symbol of a present society, this disposable paper has many uses such as blowing your nose, wiping away dirt and wrapping with kindness. Blue rum is surprisingly good for Nagito. Yeah, I would figure. He likes to be a chill boy. Hagakure crystal ball. A broken crystal ball held together with adhesive tape. This would be good for Nagito too, right? The previous owner used this item to predict the future. 30% of the time, he was accurate 100% of the time. Yeah, that's the joke from the the Uncle Man, right? <laughs> okay, we got some good stuff here. Not too bad. Should probably get going. So I would assume the the food, the non-alcoholic wine, might be good to give to Biakuya. Or maybe the, the ice cream would be good to give it to Byakuya. I guess like any food like this he would enjoy. So maybe we're gonna we wanna give him like the ice cream. That could be good. Yes, I sleep. And we wanna go back to the supermarket. Or maybe we wanna give the ice cream to Nagito, because he is the lucky boy and the ice cream does have like lottery numbers in it. So maybe he will like be lucky and gain another ice cream. Maybe, maybe not. Do the do the like secret dolls? Do they change location after every every day, or do they like stay at the same location? Cola. 10 liter bottle soda. It says 20. If there's much soda, even the ultimate funfy creator would have his thirst quenched. Every chapter has a new set of 5 hidden monokumas? Oh, each chapter. So we're still on the first chapter. So it doesn't matter what day you go. As long as you find them during the chapter, right? What's the name of the dildo? Oh, actually, let me check. Oh here. It's this one I think. No. This one maybe? No. Oh! Kokashi Dynamo. Flip the switch to make the doll shake. It's a kid's toy. Don't get the point of it. Kokashi Dynamo. I have no idea who this would be good. Like who I would give this to, to be honest. I don't know. But I wanna get give the ice cream to, to be Akuya. I'm sure he would like it. <laughs> maybe the wine. Probably both. Despite the fact that we are prepared for the party, I shall enjoy Tetero's dishes as well. Does the ultimate cook skill surpass that of the Tagami Corporation's chef? What should I know? <laughs> what should I do? Should I invite back Byakuya to hang out? Yes. Hmm. So, you're interested in the dishes prepared by my companion's personal chef. Let me tell you about them. I was forced to listen to Byakuya speak at length about the various dishes he's eaten. Looks like Biakuya let me get a little closer to him. Would you like to give him a present? Definitely. I'll give him the ice cream. Viva ice. Mm. 
Hmm. Hmm. No, there's no need to say anything more. This is something you have prepared for me. This, too, is the duty of one who stands above all others. Hey, Hajime, let me ask you one thing. Huh? Me? I, I don't really mind, but... There's something I've been wondering for a while, and I would like to push that question from my mind. Listen. So let me ask you, what is your body fat percentage? <laughs> huh? Well, I don't really know the exact number. I've never had it checked before. What? Never had it checked before? This can't be! Are you saying you have no intention of understanding the ratio of fat stored within you? <laughs> I swear, this is why I dislike commoners. For some reason, Viacria's mood seems abnormal. I'm starting to think I've actually done something wrong. I see. However, just by looking at you, I would say that you were a 9. No, maybe an 8. Regardless, it's probably around one digit. <laughs> Be great for this tropical island. If we were somewhere less hospitable, you would freeze to death. <laughs> uh, I, yeah, I see. <laughs> Anyways, you still can't remember what your talent is. Yeah, not yet. Don't worry. I see. However, there's no need for you to be depressed about it. Huh? What's with her face? N nothing. I just thought I was going to get yelled at again. <laughs> How foolish. Do you really think I would get mad about something like that? A person like me has a responsibility to watch over your weaklings. <laughs> Besides, as long as I'm here, it doesn't matter what your talent is. As fan. long as Byakuya Tokami is in charge, you will all know peace. Uh, I see. His personality is so overwhelming. <laughs> the Togami Corporation is famous old wa worldwide, but it will grow even more rapidly under my command. You should feel lucky that someone as talented as me is here. Listen. Just believe in me. If you do, everything will turn out fine. I, I don't really understand, but he's extremely confident. So this is Byakuya Togami, the ultimate affluent progeny. Hmm. Just make sure you don't get in my way. A commoner should know that place and stay put. Goodbye. However, if there's anything troubling you, I don't mind if you rely on me. After saying that, Byakuya gal gallantly strolled away. He was being pretty condescending, but he doesn't seem like a bad guy. I feel like I got to know a little bit about Byakuya. Oh, Byakuya, every sport car has been updated based on your experience with him. I decided to return to my room for now. Do we still have free time? I don't think so. Ding dong, bing bong. Ahem. Give me one second. Home Speak Academy School Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Eh. Uh. Uh. Okay, it's just it Dick is, is back from work, so I was just saying hi to him, saying I'll be done with the stream in a bit, but I'll get through this part of the story though. Please return to your rooms and relax. Let the sound of the ocean gently rock you to sleep. Now then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night. Yeah. Good night, and then we all leave and go to a party. <laughs> Oh, we got two, two little Monokuma dolls right there. Good night, he says. Whatever, I have a party to attend. Alright, time to go to the old building by the hotel. Leave here? Yes! Hotel site? Oh! oh. It's Ibuki. Oh, my mom! Oh, you're also here for the party? Why else would I be here? Uh, anyways, what are you doing in a place like this? <laughs> I'm doing a little exercise so I can enjoy all the yummy food we're gonna eat. I'm excited to eat Teru Teru's cooking. Yeah, especially since he's the ultimate coke. Cook, not coke. <laughs> Let's check the map real quick. I wanna see what all, all, all the characters are available for us to talk to. Okay, seems like we have three girls over there. Do we have anybody somewhere else? Probably not, right? It would be weird. Doesn't seem like it. <laughs> Talk to me, Khan. <laughs> it's about time for the party, huh? I'm really excited. Uh, 
I'll, I'll do my best not to be in the way. So it's fine if I s stay here, right? Oh, that that was us who said we are excited. So she's like sad. I'll be my best. Are you really worrying about something like that? <laughs> yes. Maybe if we talk to her again. <laughs> oh no, that's that's she talking. Yeah, she's like she's excited for the party. Okay, let's talk to Peko Peko Yama. Hmm. I like for you, he could know about the party, but he didn't look too pleased about it. Well, that sucks. Some, it seems like we had another girl here, like a third girl. I don't see her though. Let me check the map real quick. Oh, the, the musician girl. Yeah, we've talked to her already. So I guess we, we just go to the party. Okay. Hotel's old building. So this is the old building. Compared to the hotel, it definitely looks worse for the wear. You're here. Now then, stand up straight and raise your arms. Why, why do I have to do that? Because I need to do a body check. A body check? Since I'm the one hosting the party, it's necessary for me to take all the possible security measures. Listen. I already promised that I would not allow even one person to become a victim. Uh, I get it. And so I reluctantly raised my arms and stood up straight. Byakuya went ahead and thoroughly searched me, starting with my legs and working way his way up. <laughs> Sounds lewd. I see. <laughs> it appears you haven't brought anything dangerous. Of course I haven't. Fine. Very well, I shall allow you to enter. Huh? It was at that moment that I noticed a strange item near where Byakuya was standing. Byakuya. Metal cases. What? Jura Lumine, actually, I found them at the supermarket. This one is used to store any dangerous items I find during body checks. Body checks. <laughs> the other one is for... Well, let's just say it's for emergencies only. What do you mean, emergencies? Stop Don't worry about it. The order's already here. Gather out the dining hall in the back. Go there and wait. As soon as he said that, Byakuya turned his back on me. I guess that's the end of our talk. But he's so cautious. I didn't expect him to perform a body check. And what did he mean by emergencies only? Well, he clearly means he has weapons with him. On the bigger crates. I cannot take anything Paco says seriously, because all I think when she starts speaking is black tongue. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of... I don't know. It's kind of weird for the, the like, game developers to put that in the game, but... I guess that's what you get when you have like a bunch of horny Japanese developers, right? <laughs> it's not like I can say that as if I'm on a high horse, because I'm... I made it pretty much the exact same joke. <laughs> <laughs> on the stream, so... Oh, we can go to the toilet? This bathroom appears to be unisex. I don't need to go now, I should hurry over to the dining hall. Oh, okay then. That's fine. Leveled up. Oh, maybe we need to clean the poop from the, the, the pet? Chibi me? Yeah, there's two poops actually, wow. Alright, we got everything cleared. So her despair meter is not bad anymore. We might give her some presents at some point, but it's okay. Hey, Komaru! Oh. There's a tantalizing aroma wafting from the kitchen. Jeez. However, Byakuya will yell at me if I don't go straight to the dining hall. You should head over there as well. Okay, dining hall. This is closed, this is closed. What else do we have here? What are these? What are these? What? It's so weird. Kitchen. Oh, that's Sonia. I see. So I this see. is what the inside looks like. There's so many gaps in the wooden floor. Is that because it is so old? All right. I must tread carefully so my feet carefully so my feet don't stumble. My adventurous heart is pounding with excitement. I guess when you're a princess, even little things seem exciting. Storage room. Do you want to check the smaller rooms first before going into the main room? Main room. Do we have a toy here? I don't see it. A Monokuma toy. Don't think I see it. Laundry hamper. 
This is a laundry hamper. It looks like you can put dirty clothes in here. I should head over to the dining hall. Don't like how dirty it looks here. Tablecloths. Stack of clean tablecloths. It looks like they haven't been used yet. I should head over to the dining hall. Yes, I know I should head over to the dining hall. Stop worrying about it. I wonder who will contact us with this money, sis. I really want to break it, but who knows what will happen if I did that. Guess I gotta leave it this long. Stacked boxes. There's a jumbled mass of stuff all stacked together. Doesn't look very organized. Should head over to the dining hall. I know, my dude. Just, just be patient. Irons. Irons. These are irons. What they use to prepare the tablecloth is so... Why do you need three? I should head over to the dining hall. Stop saying that. Oh my god. Okay, let's leave the storage room. Three irons, huh? Suspicious. Very suspicious. What is this? What is this door? I guess it's nothing. Please turn around. There we go. That's the kitchen. Maybe we wanna go into the kitchen before the dining hall? Dishes. There are a lot of different types of dishes, but this meat on the bone looks like something a caveman would eat. Why do you even get something like this? I'm hungry. I guess I should go to the dining hall. I know. Stop complaining. It's a knife set. I never knew there were so many different types of knives. I don't know anything about knives, but Terra Terra probably knows what each knife is used for. Well, more importantly, I should head over to the dining hall for now. I swear, if... if Hajime keeps complaining about this shit. <laughs> this is the kitchen's equipment list. Suppose it details where each item's supposed to go. Well, more importantly. Sure. I guess that's all we have here. Let's talk to Teru Teru. I don't actually oh, like him, but... Oh, did you need something? Don't worry, I've already prepared all the dishes. Rather, do you want me to cook you up too? Okay, I regret this already. What does that even mean? <laughs> Yeah, okay, yeah, just fuck off, you creep. <laughs> oh, no. Let's go to the dining hall. <gasps> what was that? My thing, I had like, I don't know, an announcement on my, on my electronic thing. <laughs> well, I guess I skipped it. Ah, Hajime, how do you like it? Uh, wh what do you mean? See, I decorated the whole dining hall for the party. I even laid out the carpet too. <laughs> really? Even the carpet? Yep. Yep, I brought it from the supermarket. That place should have seemed to have everything. <laughs> I actually wanted to cover the whole floor, but I guess the carpet wasn't big enough. <laughs> there was a lot of dust and cobwebs all over the place too. It took me all day to clean the dining hall just because of that. There's no way I could handle being stuck cleaning the whole day. You're commendable, Nagito. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Here we go. Oh, let's talk to Chiaki. She'll probably just be like, Yeah, I'm sleepy. I'm a gamer. <laughs> I'm worried about Monokuma showing up. If he finds we're having a party, there's no way he'll leave us alone. So... We gotta do something about it. You're right. You, we should do something. Super difficult. I wonder if someone can do something about it. I wonder. Hmm. I wonder. So we're on the same page then. I'm not sure I understand. <laughs> Talk to Mahiru. Hmm. This old place here is run down. I feel bad Nagito went to all this trouble cleaning it. Even cleaning has its limits. See, check out the floorboards. Maybe the wood shrunk because of deterioration? Don't these openings seem dangerous to you? You're right. Aww. Well, the carpet is spread out enough to cover most of the floor, so I guess it wouldn't be that big of a deal. Hey. But it might be best to tell Mikan to be careful. Yeah, she is the type to trip over nothing. Kyoko? Gross. That creepy Yakuya rubbed his hot hands all over me and called me a body check. More like sexual harassment. That's not what it is. He did the same thing to guys too. <laughs> so? I feel like he was getting frisky while he was frisking me. Uh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty in demand, you know? You're just kidding. Akane? Um, do you really have to be like that? <laughs> hey, what's up? 
Uh, it's pointless. She's completely focused on the food. Let's talk to Gundam. Good instinct. Even though the man is a slow, is a lowly worm, it appears his cooking skills are impressive indeed. Nevertheless, even his food cannot stand against the good cuisine of the multiverse. Kazuichi? Uh, man, I was so uncomfortable. Getting groped so thoroughly by a man, that was my worst nightmare. Oh, you mean the body check? How annoying. Plus, he got super pissed and started yelling at me when he noticed I had a wrench with me. Seriously, how freaking annoying. It's your fault for having a wrench in the first place. Man. I just happened to find it at the airport. Carrying it around calms me down. But, yeah, yeah, put it in a dura dura lumin dura lumin case of this. Aw, man. Sniffle. Okay. So we have, like... What are these things on the back? Iron plates. Iron plates. That reminds me, I saw some similar looking iron plates in the hallway too, yes. But why are these iron plates booted on the walls? How pitiful. Oh, it's not what it appears to be. Eh? Stay back. One of my four divas, Supernova Silver Fox, Sun D, has seen what lies shrouded amidst darkness. Though that iron plate appears to be bolted to the wall, it's actually bolted what was known as a window. A window. Let me tell you. There are this. no windows in this dining hall at all. I assume those iron plates are covering them. But why are iron plates covering the windows? The night is my <laughs> domain. Oh, huh. some days it appears your fur is rustling more than usual today. Hey, why are the iron plates covering the windows? Let's make history. Such a fine day, countless lives gasp the first breath, and countless more go, go the way of all flesh. I guess it doesn't know. Well, this building is in the middle of a, middle of a renovation, so I guess it might have something to do with it, but this place sure has a creepy atmosphere because of that. Suddenly, we heard the voice of the ultimate affluent protagonist ring through the dining hall. Why well, I didn't talk to Komaeda now! I've made you wait. Thank you for waiting. Hm. Teru Teru is in the kitchen, and it appears Fuyohiko did not come. I apologize. I apologize. I did not. I did inform him about the party, but jeez, it's not like you need to apologize, Peko. It's his fault for not coming. I explicitly stated the attendance was mandatory, but it's fine. If it's just one person's absence, that shouldn't pose a problem. He won't be able to do anything. Hmm? What do you mean by that? What? More importantly, um... Come on. Hey, wh what is that? An intense expression spread across Byakuya's face as he looked at the table with various food dishes in it. Not Dangerous! As he stomped his way towards the table... <laughs> hey, <laughs> oh my god. You're all the food. Not fair. No, I'm not. <laughs> I don't care what you say, you're totally pigging out. I'm telling you, I'm not... Look carefully at this dish. It looks like delicious roasted meat. And just what is stabbed into this roasted meat? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Iron skewer. Iron skewer is definitely a dangerous item. I must take full responsibility and collect it. God damn it. Hello there. Hey, it looks like everyone's here. I should go ahead and bring out the rest of the... Uh -huh. <gasps> wow, so messy eater ruined my arrangement. <laughs> Who made this dish? Um, uh, that, that would be me, but um, are you a food critic? What are you thinking? What are you plotting, cooking with such dangerous items? No, 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 no. no, no dangerous? No. That's churrasco. It's a South American meal where you stab the meat on an iron skewer and cook it. Mm -hmm. It felt really tropical and exotic, so I thought it would totally fit the party's atmosphere. <laughs> Those iron skewers are a problem. Why? Ah, iron skewers aren't allowed either. <laughs> If that's how you're acting, then that might be more schoolers than just these. Let's go. Hey, Hajime, come with me. I need your help. Why me? Man. It's your fault for standing right in front of him. <laughs> My condolences. My condolences? Kiyakuya's face bore an intense expression as I reluctantly followed him out of the dining hall. Okay, where are you though? Oh, there he is. Let's go. Alright, this is the kitchen. We have to thoroughly inspect it to make sure there are no dangerous items. Thoroughly, huh? Yakuya is stomped into the kitchen. I followed after him. Yeah, there were knives and stuff, so. Listen. 
Let's get on with this then. Search this place thoroughly. As he issued that order, Byakuya began searching the whole kitchen from one end to another. Hmm. Look, I found this. These are forks and knives on their shelves. Don't tell me those do. Naturally. These are definitely dangerous items. If you're just eating, chopsticks are enough. After he said that, Byakuya threw the, threw the forks and knives into the duralumin, duralumin cases. One after the other. You'll be very thorough about this. They appear to be very sets of knives. What? Out of question! Knives are far too dangerous! Hand them over to me, I'll safeguard them! Yakuya yeah, grabbed the knife from my hand and threw it in the Jura Lumen case with the rest. Of course. So we have to like find the other items here? Equipment list. Hmm, this paper is... I see. I see. It appears to be an equipment list for the kitchen. 20 forks, 20 knives, 20 spoons, 5 iron skewers, 3 frying pans, 20 wine glasses. There are also iron plates for barbecue and even a portable stove for cooking hot pots. Hmm. Iron plates and a portable stove. I do recall seeing them on the shelf over there. This kitchen seems to be well kept. There should be no problems using it. Though the building is old, the kitchen is impressive compared to a normal restaurant. It's not too shabby. Very strange. But it's strange. One of the items on this list seems to be short by one. Dishes. Chinese, Japanese, French and Italian cuisine. Seafood dishes too. There's even a huge piece of meat on the bone. That taro taro, his sugar fired up. I don't even know if I would be able to eat that much food. It seems there are no dangerous items like that school and the churrasco earlier. Inside a pile of food. That appears to be the case. Phew, I wouldn't... Uh, I guess that's us thinking to ourselves. Phew, I wouldn't have known what to do if he said fish bones and meat bones were also dangerous items. Oh, what a save! Thank you for the raid! Thank you, thank you, it's much appreciated. Let's talk to him again. It's been a while, so it's nice to see you again. I hope you're doing well. Hey, is it necessary to go this far? Don't make me repeat I'm doing this because it's necessary. If I'm to fulfill my promise I made to not let anyone become a victim, I must be extra vigilant. Really, is, is that all? What? Wh what do you mean? Well, I'm just assuming, but I think something must have happened to you. After all, you decided to throw a party so suddenly. I can't help but think there's a reason for that. Hmm. That's not it. I've been a distrustful person for... As long as I can remember. Distressful person? Hmm. Hmm. I don't really like to talk about my past, but... It's fine. I'll just tell a little bit of it. Hmm. I cannot talk to others about my past. I suspect that my skeptical nature is partly to blame. Piaquias has a past he can't talk about. Hmm. Distrusting others and being distrusted in turn. For a long time, my life has been living hell. It was inevitable that I would end up this way. <laughs> but in this kind of situation, my skeptical nature might be of good news. If we are to survive here, skepticism is necessary at all costs. By the way, that past you mentioned... That's enough. No, it's all the time. However, one day, there will definitely be a time when I will be able to tell you about it. Hmm. If nothing happens and time passes for us peacefully, I will have no choice but to talk. That sounded pretty deep. I sort of feel like things are even more mysterious now, because he hasn't told me the whole story. This guy might have a deep mystery hidden within him, deeper than I thought he would have. Such silly hey, and off with the unnecessary banter. We'd better hurry and find the rest of those dangerous items. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Even so, he sure works as hard. That's probably more in line with his actual personality, I bet. Huh? Huh? Why? The kitchen's a mess! What happened here? Stop talking. Don't raise your annoying voice. I just removed all the dangerous items. Huh? Ah, there are no knives or forks! Why? How come? Don't make me repeat myself. <laughs> Dick, thank you for the subscription three months in a row. <laughs> you haven't been around to watch any of this, but... <laughs> hey, it's nice to see you. I literally just said I removed all of the dangerous items. You're kidding, right? don't, don't tell me you're treating cooking utensils like d dangerous items? Eh, no, give me no, one no, second. No, 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 no. Well, most of the dishes are finished. All I got to do is arrange the plates. So it's not a problem, but... But, but still! Ah, Hajime! 
Stop it! It gets awful me. Uh, not into the soul thing. Well, that's a little depressing. Hey, Dick. Trust me, I'm the one who's depressed here. Hold on. Before you start getting all flirty, explain this. I checked the equipment list and there seems to be one iron skewer missing. Mm -hmm. Ah, that's right. As far as I know, that's been missing from the start. Mm. No matter how you clean this place gets, stuff is still bound to go missing in an old building, right? Mm. It's been missing all along. We can't really do anything about it, right? <laughs> You're right. So there's no place to hide such a long skewer anyway. Very well. All I need to do is keep on watchful eye. Don't tell me you plan to keep on watchful eye all night long. Let's go. All right, let's go back. The others should be waiting for us. You too, Taro Taro. Come to the dining hall for now. Ah. <laughs> uh, okay. Jeez, he's such a pushy leader. My connection on this base is eight. I'm having trouble for you only. <laughs> ah, I'm sorry. I'm almost done with this though. Gonna be finishing the stream once we're done with this event. Ah, they're finally back! Hey, hey! Hey, let's eat already! I'm starving! Hmm. There's still an issue we need to address first. Lies. Ah, an issue? Right. Oh, do I gotta beat the crap out of Just say the words, I'll do it for you! That's enough. That won't be necessary. The issue is where to safeguard this dual aluminum case that has all the confiscated dangerous items. Huh? Can we just leave it here? Hmm. I've already put a lock in the case, so it shouldn't be a problem, but we should definitely up the security and keep it someplace safe. Um, someplace safe? Um, there's a storage room at the back of this old building. I see. A storage room, huh? Even so, we can't leave the case alone in there. Then... Someone should guard it. That would keep it safe, yes? Aww. Eh? Oh. I'll do it, of course. Uh, are you sure? I, I guess if you insist. <laughs> Just kidding. What is she on? But you've been lonely there by yourself. I don't mind. I don't mind. I'm really not that good in situations where I have to be around lots of people anyway. <laughs> ah, if I wrote a song about this, the title would be definitely Lonely Girl in the Storage Room. However, however, Taro Taro has gone to the trouble of cooking. Is it alright for me to bring some of it with me? Okay. Yeah, it's totally fine. What? But if you're going to guard Yuji anyway, it might be better if you avoid the storage room. Eh? Why is that? Well, not only is the storage room packed with lots of stuff, it's hard to see in there and full of cobwebs. Also, I was busy cleaning the dining hall that I didn't even have time to clean the storage room. If you're staying in there for a long time, I think it would be bad for your health. I see. In that case, why don't you guard it in the office? If I recall correctly, there's also secret break. Breaker in there too. It would be a good idea to guard that as well. Yep. Yeah, the office sounds nice. I'm pretty sure it's not that dirty either. Understood. Understood. So I need to be on guard duty at the office. Then I should get going. Have a fun tonight. Have fun tonight, everyone. So it seems like that's two people who won't be at this party. Pago Pago and Fuku Fukuyama, whatever his name was. So there might be a murder happening here. This is pretty scary though. Taking with her the jewel looming case and the pa plates piled with food. <laughs> oh, I can't read at this point. <laughs> Sorry, it's been like almost six hours. It gets really tiring at some point. Pack left the dining hall. I see. Just I like see. reading a lot, my brain starts like frying up. Oh, I have a rank now. Ooh, is that like you got the private rank finally, or did you get like a rank like above private or something? 50-50 security, only 13 minutes of sleep each? What's 50-50 security? You're gonna like stay all night? Like on guard duty or something like that? Um, seeing Pegasus back as she walks away makes me feel like she's got this super cool, melancholy vibe. Huh? Mm, but shouldn't she have taken the other case with her too? <laughs> this... Mm, no, this case is fine. Weird. Ah, no fair! You're like the only one who got to bring their own stuff! Naturally. When you're as special as me, you get special privileges. <laughs> when you put it that way, it's hard to argue with you. Listen. This drill looming case stays with me at all times. I put the key to the other case in here as well. I will take full responsibility for watch over it. There's no way I can let anyone else handle this matter. <sighs> more importantly, we're all done now, right? Let's start the party! Stop talking. No, there's still more! I'm gonna die. Ah, 
what they want me to be the crap out of? Hurry up and tell me already. Seriously, it has nothing to do with that. Actually.